Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from, I believe the name is pronounced Cloudy, and if so, and if I've got that wrong, I apologize. But, uh, this is the DJ in, uh, in Char Asnable colors. I think it came out pretty well. I, I enjoy using this. It's not particularly remarkable, I think, unlike a lot of the 550s, but it is just very solid at what it does. It has the beam rifle, it has a uh, shotgun bazooka as a sub-weapon, which, it, uh, just like all the other shotguns, if enough pellets hit, it stuns. Um, well, enough. it's like the Xeon shotgun. The Federation shotgun is more like the, uh, non -s the primary weapon version of the Rick DS, clay, uh, of the scattering version of the clay bazooka, which can take like two or three rounds to actually pull off a stun, but also can do probably more damage than this can. This tops out at about 1,600 a shot if all the pellet, pellets hit. But that's not bad, and again, it just it gives a gives it the ability to combo fairly easily. Uh, you know, beam rifle into uh, into shotgun into melee, and I just I did manage to uh, tag the uh, hyper hammer Gundam. So actually, it's standard Gundam hammer, not hyper hammer, I believe. But I forget which one it says it is. Might be hyper. Either way, it is a hammer, and got that person see we traded shots and now I'm just ah good got them and I just kind of hang back here a second to make sure they're not trying to bomb the base but they are not there's nobody here so time to move up and help uh, my allies it uses I think I mentioned uh, last time I ran it it uses the Hyakushiki beam rifle which of course is an EPAC stunning rifle so yeah and the and the sub weapon bazooka is the Rick Diaz bazooka even though, you know, th this specific instance is unique to the DJ. And that's a GPO-2 Beam Bazooka, which being a raid is actually a pretty good uh, thing for me to fight. 3,000 damage on uh, Beam Rifle Shot, but unfortunately I've gotten myself surrounded by the enemy team, as I am wont to do, and uh, they killed me. So, let's see. Got, uh, got got by a GPO-3. They're still pretty formidable. I'm glad they went to the recycle tickets, and you, you're going to have to watch out for them more now, now that there's a lot more of them out there, but yeah, still very solid. Let's see, 3,700 to 2,300 is not a bad set of numbers. A few seconds to spawn in, and then I will probably try and help somebody, whoever is left alive and need, needs assistance. Well, here's that Gelgud Jaeger right in front of me. That's a good start. Okay, let's see, they're catching up a little bit, 3,800 to 3,000. Just trying to find a good, uh, good target. This looks like a good one if I can get to them. Probably should st uh, lead with the bazooka because it's easier to land a stun with, but we'll go for this. Managed to hit it, but the uh, GPO-3 managed to uh, dodge roll just in time. Shifted back so I could see what I was fighting. And let's see. Trying very hard not to cough in your ear right now. It happens. Let's see. It's got Vulcans. They're standard Vulcans. They're not spectacular. Not as weak as the Hyakushikis, not as good as the Rikki or Mark IIs by a mile. Let's see. Managed to tag it, which means try to move in for the kill. Didn't quite get it. It also has forced injectors, I believe, at level 2, which gives you a lot more maneuvering options than level 1. Because I do, I do like forced injectors. The ability to change your uh, angle at the last second when you're boosting, very useful for avoiding attacks, and yeah, very handy. Okay, that is of course a Blue Destiny 2, I believe, or is it a Pale Rider? Either way, whatever it was, it's dead. But yeah, it's something with a boosting ability and twin beam sabers. So yeah, it's one of those two things. I think it might have been Pale Rider, but. See, we have got a full armor Gundam of some stripe here. I'm not sure. Disadvantage, so it is one of the support types. Might be the B type, but now that that's taken care of, time to move on and see what we can do. See, there is a bomb going off at our base, and managed to get a sneak in that beam bazooka GPO2 kill with a uh, shotgun round. Time that right. I'll tell you, one of the things one of the things you will get the most mileage from is getting a sense of the timing of people's invulnerability. 
again, just the more you know about the game, and now that the new update is live, it will be possible to know more about the game without just having to feel it out. But the more you know about the game, the more you know how long it takes someone to ready their weapon, the more uh, you know how long it takes in vulnerability to wear off. All of those things, you can make it becomes easier to predict and counter enemy movements. If you know when somebody's going to shoot at you, you can, uh, you can get ready and shoot them just as they're about to do it to you. If you know when somebody's invulnerability wears off, even if you're at a great distance, you can tag them as they go by. It all comes down to prediction. As you can see, they managed to uh, the base bomb did go off, and it still hasn't gotten them anywhere near our score. So it's not even really worth worrying about. I am out of feet. That's a thing. I'm just gonna crouch here for a second. Oop! Pale Rider's gonna get me. It is a Pale Rider because it has that gun. Yep, missled me to death. That 180 millimeter cannon is pretty spectacular. But we're doing really well, so I've got no complaints. And just got to get through the last two minutes here and hopefully contribute, and we'll see how that goes. And, yep, going to order some support fire because I've got a, a, a good ten seconds till my mobile suit's ready. Again, support fire, or rather, respawns on high-end mobile suits take long enough that it is easy to order support fire while you wait. Still, they really have improved respawning since Battle Operation 1, because the GP01 used to take longer than you ha your respawn timer to come back in. That was really an annoying thing. And landed, uh, tried to fire the shotgun in the air on the Pale Rider, missed that, but it is dead. There's the GP03. Managed to tag it, managed to tag it twice and get its shield. And that's it. Good. Yeah, it's basically... It, if your if your timing is good, the same basic uh, combo that works for the Gelgug works for the DJ. Uh, to stun with the rifle, upswing, downswing, rifle, and upswing, and you can and you can land it all, and it's pretty solid. Okay, forty some seconds left. Just put the, uh, put the GPO two in the dirt. Managed to get the upswing before uh, somebody uh, hit me or before uh, somebody else got the kill, so didn't quite get that Gundam, but I don't believe you can counter the hammer. You can counter the Agu guy's uh, heat whips, but not the Gundam hammer, so yeah, that's a thing. But either way, I did. Ma I was close enough it didn't manage to hit me, so I uh, managed to finish it off too. So yeah, I had a really good rally here at the end, I think. So Not that we were hurting, but also points to this enemy team who are really bringing it back. After the after where they were to get within a couple thousand points of us, not bad at all. And now it's just kind of gone gone to a free for all, and I'm getting knocked around. I got I got no complaints. We did we did good work. It was a fun round, and yeah, that was good. So yeah, that was the DJ and uh, Char Asnable Colors. Hope you like it, Cloudy. And again, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. But. Uh, Let's see, yeah, 3,635 is not bad. Five kills and two deaths, almost 90,000 damage. That's pretty good. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more. So till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! The next on my Zeta Gundam wish list, if it's not in the game as of when you see this, is still the Ashimar. I, I always liked that. I mean... I want to get the Flying Donut. I always like the Flying Donut. And uh, beyond that, I'd actually like to see the Methus. The Methus is not particularly uh, scary in the animation, but I bet it could be made to be something interesting here. So, fingers crossed.